Now off to a different topic that has absolutely nothing to do with anything we've talked about so far. These are even and odd functions. And this is a way of classifying functions. So like families of functions, I guess. So like, you know, we can classify like real numbers or imaginary numbers or, you know, their square roots or whatever. Um, but this is the way that we classify actual functions. So we're going to start off with two definitions. Um, even. A function is even if either of the following occur. If f of negative x is equal to f of x, or if the graph of f of x is symmetric across the y-axis. Okay? So that's going to sound weird, and we're going to work a problem out of each of these. Actually, I'm going to do three examples. But basically, if you've got a function like this, and it's graphed like that, what you kind of do is you focus on half of it, and you say, well, if I took this half and I flipped it, I'd get this half. So this is a one flipper. A one fit flip problem, if it flips across the y-axis and gets the exact same thing, that's going to be considered an even function. Now odd functions, pretty similar, but it says a function is odd if f of negative x equals negative f of x. And I think I'm running out of room. It's kind of hard to tell, so let me move everybody over a little bit. No. Okay. So if f of negative x equals negative f of x, or if the graph of f of x is symmetric across the origin. So this is a lot stranger sounding, but you could have something that looked like... Oh, I don't know. Something that looked like this. Like that. Now, what you would do is you'd look at this and say, okay, well, let me take half of it. If I take half of it here, now if I flip it once, okay, so let me flip it once. If I flip it once, it looks like this, right? And then if I flip it again, Hopefully, maybe you can see that it looks like that. So if you've got a two flipper, that's considered an odd function. Okay? So let that sink in. So here's the basic strategy. If you're trying to determine whether or not something is even or odd, this is what you're going to do. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to find f of negative x. All right, because see, both of these definitions include f of negative x. Now, if that is equal to f of x, the function is, the function is even. Okay, and you're done. Otherwise, Go to step two. Um, so I'm going to even put here that you're done. All right. If that's equal to f of x, you're done. Otherwise, you're going to go to step two. And this is going to be to find negative f of x. Okay? And if that is equal to negative f of x, then you have an odd function, and if it doesn't, otherwise, it's neither. Wait, that was neither. 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 
So your options are even, odd, and neither. And once you get to any of these classifications, you're done. Okay. But your first step is always going to be find f of negative x. All right. So let's give this a shot and see what happens. Okay. So let's start with um, f of x equals x to the fourth minus 2x squared. And we want to know is this even, odd, or neither. All right. So remember, our first step is always to calculate f of negative x. So that means everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a negative x. So everywhere I see an x, instead of putting x, I'm going to put a negative x. So negative x to the fourth is positive x to the fourth. Minus 2. Negative x squared gives me x squared. And this is, in fact, the same. So that's the same as f of x. So if I go and I look at my strategy, it says if that's equal to f of x, then that means I have an even function and I'm done. So this is even. And I'm done. Now I can confirm this by going on my graphing calculator. If I graph this, I'll say 2, no, not 2. What am I doing? I've got x to the fourth um, minus 2x squared. Oh, I missed my 2. Excuse me. 2x squared. And I graph that. I get something that looks like that. So hopefully it should be pretty direct to tell that that function there is in fact, oops, that function there is in fact symmetric. If I took half of it and I flipped it, I would get the other side. So that's another way to do it. You can do it algebraically, or you can do it by the graph. All right, try another one. Try f of x is equal to x cubed minus 6x. Okay. So see if you can work this out to get started. f of negative x, right? So everywhere we put an x, we have an x, we put a negative x. Everywhere we have an x, we put a negative x. So negative x cubed gives you negative x cubed minus 6 times negative 6 plus 6x. Is this equal to f of x? That is this equal to f of x? No, it's not. It's not equal to f of x. So that means we have to go to step two. Step two says we need to calculate negative f of x. I'm going to switch my colors. Um, it's actually negative f of x. So we're going to say negative f of x. So we're going to distribute my negative across. Negative x cubed plus 6x. So is this equal to f of negative x? Is that equal to what we got in the first step? Yes, it is. Fantastic. So that means that we have an odd function. Now again, we can go ahead and graph this. Uh, y equals, spin the y equals, clear that out. I've got x cubed minus 6x. If I graph it, I get that example, which is the example I showed you a bit initially whenever I was introducing um, odd and even functions. Oops, I did that again last time. So this is going to look like this, right? Or I've drawn it backwards. 
Yes, I am trying to focus. So we're looking at something that looks like that. And that's definitely symmetric across the origin. That's definitely a two flipper. Okay. Let's try one more just for completion's sake. Try f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. So see how far you can get on this. You know, pause it, go try to work the problem out, see if it makes sense to you. All right, so we'll start out with f of negative x. So over where we see x, we'll put a negative x. So that x squared minus 2x plus 1. So is this equal to f of x? Is that equal to that? No. So we've gone to step two. Now we want to find negative. I did it again. We want to go and find negative f of x. We're going to find negative f of x, which is this. That's our original f of x. Distribute that negative sign all the way across to all the items. Negative x squared minus 2x minus 1. Now we say, is this equal to f of negative x? Is this thing equal to that? Nope. That means since it's not equal to this, it's not even, and it's not odd, so that means it must be new. And if we go graph it, we'll see that confirmed. So I'll say x squared plus 2x plus 1. I'm going to graph it. And we see that that's not symmetric at all. It's completely off. Okay, so I'll sketch it in here so you'll have it in your notes. Whoa. So this guy is here, not symmetric anyway. So, no, I can't spell. Symmetric. All right, so it's not symmetric. So it's different. 